This woman has lost $100,000 to a man she never met. We can only identify her as Jade. I was alone for a very long time and I was hoping that I can find my drink man or my prince. Charming. She signed up on GAUN.com, a Chinese online dating service with 40 million users worldwide. Jade started looking for the man of her dreams. And finally, she found what she thought was her perfect match, this man, Leslie. He came across to me as a very intelligent, hardworking and caring person. Well, online scammers will usually take up one of a number of commonly identified personalities. A classic one, for example, will be the Australian businessman or woman operating overseas. Leslie claimed to be a financial planner and encouraged her to invest into his latest project. He won her trust and Jade transferred $10,000 to the company. Then Leslie's manager called her telling her investment had grown to $1.1 million. But she started to worry when a woman claiming to be from the Foreign Trade Commission asked her for more money. Along the way, I did feel something's not right, but I trusted him. If it just seems that this doesn't seem fully like a legitimate or an honest or a genuine person, then there's a really good chance that it's not. Not long after, Leslie disappeared. Realising everything was a scam, Jade went to the police. Detective Keith Moore says it is unlikely the offenders will be caught. Because we're dealing with offenders overseas, it makes it very difficult for us to, one, identify who they actually are. Last year, the ACCC reported that $22 million was lost to online dating scams in Australia. This was double the amount from 2010. When I think about what happened, sometimes makes me realise that he's heartless. Jade's story may provide an important lesson for other users.